here. What's in my What's in my And so today, I want to talk about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. More specifically, this is going to be my movie review. Movie review. Um, but anyway, I think, just to start off this, um, there are like six different movies coming out in December. And I think that this is definitely, if you're going to watch one or two, please make sure this is one of them. If you're going to watch two, watch this movie again. It's that good. Please make sure you watch this movie. Actually, the budget on this movie was like $90 million, which is still smaller than Infinity War. And um, it hasn't even broken even. You know, and I apologize because the world release hasn't happened yet, but like, even then, come on, like, Basically, let's just start, let's start at the beginning, one last time. <laughs> so, with a lot of these character and racial representations... Here we go. ...that occur in a lot of movies and TV shows these days where they reboot a character to change the race. Change the gender. A lot of times, uh, when given the opportunity, that show or that movie will often very specifically go out of their way to make sure you know that they are, oh, he's not a guy anymore, it's a girl, or it's not like a, you know what I'm saying? And Miles, Miles, that's fine, he's an Afro-Latino person, and the movie never does anything about it. He exists, he's just there, as an Afro-Latino son. And yes, part of the message is that anyone can be Spider-Man, but it never feels like it's a racially, uh, or a politically charged message at the viewer. And I absolutely love that. I'm, like, it's very annoying, for a movie to be really reboot only for the sake of either money or just straight-up, like, political agendas. So, like, just starting off, it's fine. It's great. Then we get to the animation, and this this movie absolutely floored me with the animation. And you've probably heard this a lot, and it genuinely is true. Everything feels like it's a comic book. If you've seen Dragon Ball Fighters, you know that it kind of looks like you're you're playing the anime, the way that everything is shaded, the way that the graphics are done. And this movie emulates the feeling of reading a comic book in the exact same way way. Some of the shading you'll see like cross hatching like they'll do in the comics or um I can't remember the exact name but they'll have like these dots to do shadings and that was something that they did a lot in the old school comics. And 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 like thought bubbles and sound effects will appear when people do things. And that to me was so amazing. And actually the action scene in this movie are I think by far the best part. They're they're fun, they're intriguing they always kind of do something interesting with every character. You know that there's, you know, there's Miles Morales, there's Peter Parker, Spider Gwen, and they all, uh, Spider Man Noir, Nick Cage, and they, you know, you get the idea, the whole team, and they have different powers and abilities. And so I think what, what's interesting is, especially towards the end of the movie in the big climactic battle, the, the movie kind of tries to appeal to all of them, and I think it does an amazing job. I, I genuinely don't think this could have been done. If it were live action or anything like that, and I'm actually really happy with how this movie turned out in in terms of animation. Uh, so with that with that out of the way, uh, we can get to I think some of the smaller stuff, but it's still huge. But I think some of the slightly smaller stuff. So let's get to the soundtrack because the animation is great, and but if we get to the soundtrack, I think that just half of why the animation is good is because of the soundtrack. It just complements it so well. The And not even like just the way it sounds, I'm talking sound mixing as well. The fact that the sound effects, everything is timed perfectly. And if you and if you actually listen to the songs, like um, things like What's Up Danger or the Prowlers theme from the movie, you'll actually, and you'll see how it's synced up to the movie, it actually kind of makes a lot of sense. And like, I'm not saying you have to do like a whole deep analysis. It's stunning to me how well they managed to get the music and how well they managed to get the animation and then how well they managed to combine both of those things. So it's absolutely outstanding. I think the one the one big issue I have with this movie is that I feel like it's too short. That's what she said. And that's not in the sense where it's like, dang, this movie was so good. I wish I had more material, like you might say with a Pixar movie or something like that. I mean that I think with... The story in this movie is it's complex. I would say like it's slightly complex. And I think given that they were kind of under a time constraint. And so I feel, I was talking to Carlos about this, I was telling him there's like five or six different major, like genuinely important plot points that I feel, like they're super rushed. Like, um, obviously I can't tell you because some of them are like genuine spoiler material. But I really, like, and if you've seen the movie, um, you're, you're gonna, you might probably won't notice what I'm saying. I think that, especially towards the beginning, I think towards the middle of the end, it does get a lot better in terms of how well things are paced out. But at the beginning,
beginning, I feel like everything kind of hits you like a truck. It just goes way too fast. But that is pretty much the only complaint I have about this movie. The, the soundtrack is great. The writing is great. This is like genuinely, there are some sad moments in this movie. But overall, I, this is a fun movie. Because it's, there's always like, you know, Peter Parker is known for like wit and stuff. And the writers are always appealing to that. Because this movie is, an, it's, it's hilarious, like, all of the time. And, and some of that, it's not even with Peter Parker, who's literally known for his wit. Some of it's with Miles, some of it's with, you know, Gwen, and everything like that. And so I love it just that much more, because it's a fun experience to be able to watch this movie. So, that pretty much ends the review. I'm trying to keep it short this time. If you like the movie, and you probably will, Please let me know in the comment section below. Again, check out this movie. It's good, and you can tell there's a lot of effort and heart poured into it. Not like certain other movies. <coughs> but, it's amazing. Sorry, I was choking on a little symbiote up there. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you like this movie, come on, check it out, alright? And if you like this video, also make sure to leave it a like, subscribe, we're pretty close to 100. It'd be pretty nice if you guys could subscribe. But I'm not going to force you. And that's it. So I ran the quarters. Peace.